A Doppler gate, also called sample volume, is the specifically selected three-dimensional region within a vessel from which the ultrasound machine receives and analyzes Doppler signals. A pulse wave Doppler uses time of flight principles enabling the machine to accept signals only from echoes returning from the set depth, that is depth specificity. It allows the operator to choose exactly where within the vessel the blood flow velocity will be measured. Correct gate placement is fundamental for valid, reproducible and clinically meaningful Doppler measurements. A correctly placed Doppler gate allows accurate SD ratio PI RI calculation in uterine and umbilical arteries, precise peak systolic velocity measurement in fetal middle cerebral artery, which is important for anemia prediction, reliable A wave assessment in ductus phenosis, and clean interpretable waveforms without artifact from vessel walls or turbulence. Location control of the probe is very important. By adjusting the gate's position and size, the operator chooses exactly which part of the vessel will be interrogated for blood flow velocity. The sonographer positions the cursor within the two-dimensional image parallel to the vessel wall. The position of the cursor identifies the region where Doppler shifts and blood velocities are measured. This location is called sample volume or gate. It varies from vessel to vessel. The gate can be moved along the vessel to sample flow exactly at the desired side. For example, it is the mid-segment of the umbilical artery, proximal part of middle cerebral artery near its origin. The ductus venosus must be sampled at its isthmus. Here are some tips. Use small gate because a smaller gate improves spatial specificity. That is, it minimizes contamination by adjacent vessels or turbulent flow but it may produce a weaker signal. A larger gate increases signal amplitude, but may include information from vessel walls or adjacent structures causing spectral broadening. Put the gate at the center of the vessel. This ensures accurate sampling of laminar flow at the center of the vessel. Rotate the angle parallel to vessel walls, and the angle of insulation should be less than 60 degrees. For more such detailed information on ultrasound in obstetrics and gynecology, follow my channel and become an affiliate member.